friends. Welcome back to my channel and a huge welcome if you are new here. Thank you for stopping by. I'm happy to have you join me on this WW Instant Pot recipe video. You guys, the two recipes that I made, I have to say, are probably the favorites that I've ever made in the Instant Pot. I have an Instant Pot lasagna. Yes, lasagna in the Instant Pot and a hearty, delicious beef stew with big chunks of beef and potatoes so good we absolutely loved both of these recipes so if you want to see step by step what i made this week in my instant pot that's ww friendly and of course delicious just stay tuned <laughs> For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are going to be making Instant Pot lasagna. I'm very excited about this recipe. One thing you will need is a insert for your Instant Pot, which is a spring form type of an insert. I'll show you mine. So if you don't have that, I do have a whole Instant Pot accessory kit linked in my Amazon store down in the description box. So let's get into what is in our lasagna. You'll need some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, low fat or fat free ricotta cheese, lasagna noodles, some type of marinara. This is the skinniest dish crock pot marinara. I love this. It's delicious and you can have any amount for zero smart points. So I'm definitely going to be using that. Some Parmesan cheese, eggs, extra lean ground beef, and I'm going to do a mix of low fat mozzarella and fat free cheese. This will just help cut down on the points. So let's get started on our lasagna. The first thing we need to do is brown our ground beef. If you're not using meat in your sauce, you can skip this step, but I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper and ground or brown up my ground beef. And in the meantime, let's put together our ricotta lasagna filling. So let's put together our ricotta cheese filling. So what I have here is one third cup, I'm sorry, not one third, one three quarters of a cup of the low fat ricotta cheese. I don't know where I got the one third cup, but I have three quarters of a cup of that. And to that, I'm going to add one egg and I'm going to add some Italian seasoning and I'm not measuring, I'm just gonna kind of wing it. It does call for about a half of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and about a half of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. And you can either use your hand mixer or just use a spoon, but just make sure you get this mixed really well together. And this is the ricotta filling for our Instant Pot lasagna. So doesn't that look delicious? So we're ready to assemble our lasagna. So I went ahead and sprayed my Instant Pot Springform pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I have eight lasagna noodles total. I have my meat sauce, my ricotta cheese mixture, and then I have some one cup of regular mozzarella, one cup of fat-free cheese, and that's going to, again, help lower the points of this dish. So the first thing we're going to do is take our lasagna noodles and we just want to break them up into smaller pieces and put them onto the bottom here of our pan. So we'll do four layers of our lasagna. So the first layer will be these lasagna noodles and then we'll get ready to add a second layer of lasagna noodles. So just put as much as you feel comfortable with for a nice layer on the bottom of your pan. And then from here, we're going to add a layer of our meat sauce. So you just wanna make sure that your meat sauce covers all of your lasagna noodles. And then we're gonna add a layer of our ricotta cheese and the same thing, just make sure that you do your best to spread it out as evenly as you can over the meat mixture. And it's okay if you mix it in like I am here with the meat mixture you just want to make sure that you reserve enough to make multiple layers like a traditional lasagna would be and then the last step is we are going to put about a quarter of our cheese on this layer and then we're just going to repeat this until we have an entire layered lasagna with all of our lasagna noodles done and this thing nice and full and ready to go into the instant pot Once 
once your lasagna is done, look how nice and full and amazing this looks. We are going to take one quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and we're just going to sprinkle that right over the top of our lasagna. And that's it, you guys. This looks so good. Last step is we're gonna go ahead and cover this with some foil and get this into the Instant Pot. So the next step is you're going to put your trivet in the bottom of your Instant Pot. And we are going to add one cup of water. And then we are very carefully going to set our foil covered springform pan into our Instant Pot. And you do have to be pretty careful. You do wanna get it right onto the trivet. Make sure that foil is on nice and tight. And then we are going to put our lid on and we're just gonna set this at manual for 24 minutes. And then we're going to allow it 10 minutes of natural release. So manual and 24 minutes. And then we'll allow it to naturally release for 10. And I'll be back to show you our lasagna when we pull it out of the Instant Pot. Our lasagna is done. You guys, look at how delicious this looks. So the hard part is getting it out of your Instant Pot, but our lasagna is done. It looks amazing. I'm gonna pull it out, cut it into servings, plate it up, and I'll be back to show you my completed dinner and give you the smart points. Before I cut into this, you guys, look at this lasagna. It is beautiful. Like it is perfect lasagna. Super easy to release that springform pan. It is still sitting on the base down here, but I'm gonna cut it directly on the base. But I just had to show you how perfect this turned out. So here is the lasagna. This is one fourth of the lasagna. You can either do four servings or six servings. If you decide to do four servings, it is 12 smart points but this is a lot of lasagna for 12 smart points. If you decide to cut it into six pieces, which is what I did for myself, this is one sixth. So still a really good amount of lasagna and it is only seven smart points. So my dinner is seven points total. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are making beef stew. Tis the weather, tis the season for some hearty beef stew. And the smart points are outstanding on this. So let me show you what is in our Instant Pot beef stew. You're gonna need some chicken stock of your choice, salt, tomato sauce, paprika, any type of potatoes, I'm just using gold potatoes, any type of meat, I just generally buy stew meat already cut up, it's so much easier, an onion, and some carrots. Easy, easy, let's get started on our stew. So the first thing we need to do is I'm gonna take my baby carrots, I'm just gonna chop them in half. I'm also going to chop my onion into large chunks and my potatoes into small chunks. So let's get everything chopped up. We're just gonna put it all into a bowl here. All of our vegetables go in our Instant Pot at once, so it's easy to chop it all up. So let's get everything chopped up and ready to go into that Instant Pot. <laughs> can tell from your eyes this is not your first time another late night vision with the blurred sight you know what i like i can't get you off my mind i think of you all the time i want to get with you inside the line so the first step is go ahead and get your instant pot turned on to the saute function then we're gonna take some nonstick cooking spray and we're just gonna give it a nice coat on the bottom. To that, we are going to add our meat. Now, if you didn't buy stew meat already cut up into chunks, you're going to wanna cut it into chunks before adding it to the pan. We're gonna allow this to saute down until the meat gets a little bit browned. As your meat starts to brown, go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt. That's just going to bring out all of the flavors of the meat as well. So we don't need it cooked all the way through. We just want to get it a little bit browned on the outside. As your meat starts to brown, go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt. That's just going to bring out all of the flavors of the meat as well. So we don't need it cooked all the way through. We just want to get it a little bit browned on the outside. Once your meat has browned, we're gonna put in 16 ounces or half of the box of our chicken stock. So go ahead and add that. And by the way, I did turn my Instant Pot off of the saute mode, so it is off right now. We're also going to add our entire can of tomato sauce. 
and then we're gonna put the lid on this, cook this on high heat, manual, on high heat for 30 minutes, and then we will remove the lid and put in our vegetables. So let's get this stew cooking. So I just took the lid off. Our meat is cooked through. It's nice and soft from the Instant Pot. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our potatoes and onions and carrots. And then we're gonna add in just a little bit more seasoning. And we're gonna put the lid on back on high for about four more minutes. And that'll be enough time to get the vegetables cooked completely through. So make sure that you mix your vegetables in so that they're under that broth a little bit. And then we're going to add some paprika. I just have smoked paprika. I actually like it a lot better than regular paprika. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that. And then lastly, I didn't show you guys this in the beginning, so I apologize. We are going to have to add a little bit of garlic powder as well. And then we'll give this a quick mix. Put that lid back on on high for another four minutes. Our stew is done. I just took the lid off and I did add a little slurry of cornstarch and water, about a tablespoon, to the stew just to thicken up the broth a little bit. It was a little bit thin for my liking. That isn't going to add any additional points. So this pot of stew here makes eight servings. So let me get this put in a bowl. I'll show you what one eighth looks like and give you the smart points. So here is one eighth of the stew. So this is quite a lot. You've got your potatoes, your carrots, your meat, and everything is a total of four smart points. So you can have one eighth of that entire batch of beef stew for four points. So this is my four smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on another WW Instant Pot video. You guys, I'm telling you, this lasagna and this stew was out of this world. Definite definite must make recipes both of them hands down must make i do have my instant pot as well as my instant pot accessory kit that has that springform pan to make the lasagna linked down in my amazon store in the description box below also in the description box are the recipes for these two videos with any modifications that i made to make them ww friendly and also all of the other discounts that i can offer to you on my favorite and your favorite ww staples so thank you so much for joining me today if you're new i'd love it if you'd subscribe hit that little notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video thumbs up this one it really does help my channel and comment down below let me know are you going to make both of these or what are what is your favorite of the two and it can be both you guys because they were both outstanding thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in my next video